Hello. It's great to see you again. Today, we're going to dive into how to draw using the Affinity Designer program. I think this bear design has been around for a while, so I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on it. Let's get started. We'll be using the pencil tool in vector mode to explore each part of the bear. We'll start with the head. First, use the gradient tool to apply the shader color. I typically use the elliptical type, because it easily maintains the fill aspect ratio we want, but this can vary depending on the shape of each area. Move the shader toward the key light, which I've set in the upper right corner. Next. Go to the Styles panel, click on Add Styles Category. Select the shader style you made, and then click Add Style from Selection. And apply this style to the shape we've selected. You can edit the color from the original shader or create a new one, depending on what you need. Choose a gradient style that fits the shape. This method might seem a bit challenging at first, but if you do it often, I think it's actually quite easy. I like to collect these styles for future projects. You can also add details in the pixel persona. Click insert inside the selection button above, and adding a new pixel layer to draw or paint within the vector shapes. Depending on your preference, both designer persona and pixel persona work efficiently together.
To add shadows, select the shape you want to shadow. Click Insert inside the selection button above. Draw the shadow and set it to a multiply layer. The multiply value should be a color between white and black so that it can be applied to other areas. You can also add various effects and save them in the styles panel. The shadow are usually the opposite of the light and always have two sides. With the side facing the light being lighter, it's just my technique. You can also use reference images or from professional artists. You might not need to use a multiply layer all the time. We do this so that when you change the color, you don't have to go back and edit the shadow color again. Personally, I'm used to clients requesting color edits, so adding shadows with a multiply layer is crucial for me. Next, we'll add highlights. For highlights, use the overlay layer. There are many tools that help you draw and color, and you can apply and save them for future use in both designer and pixel persona modes. This time, I'm focusing on using only the brush in vector mode to capture the details. Even though you're drawing in vector mode, the result isn't a pure 100% vector, it's just using vector tools to get the job done. This video is just a guide for you. In my opinion, gathering as many details as possible makes each piece look better. I try to keep my videos up to date and share the techniques I know. So you can try new methods and work faster. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.